G'day. Hopefully you're doing very well, keeping healthy and safe. I'm doing pretty sweet on this side of the desk. We're going to have a look into the Dell XPS 15. This is the 95 30 model. Now, this is a 15 inch premium business laptop. Now, I've actually been playing with Dell XPS 15 and XPS 13 for a number of years here, and with this 9530, it is pretty much for the chassis, the look and touch and the feel, even the weight is very similar than the couple of years before. So there hasn't been much dramatic changes on the actual touch and feel of it, and also the keyboard or even the trackpad and the display, but what has changed is actually the guts of inside. So now the processor wise, it is running the 13th gen Intel Core. And as for the discrete graphics, you actually get two types of options. You pretty much have the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 40 series graphics in here, or you can actually choose the new Intel Arc. Now that is the A370 M, which is what I've got right in this one here. So we can actually test this thing out. But it's pretty much, that's pretty much what's changed with this. Now, as always, I will be putting timestamps along this video so you can skip to a different section that may be interested to save you time. We are going to test the temperature and fan noise, have a look at the speakers, and just also have a look at the performance of this XPS 15. Look at the temperatures of fan noise. When I took my measurement, the ambient temperature in the room was 22 degrees Celsius. And just to give you a reference point, your average hands anywhere between 33 to 35 degrees Celsius. And so I took my base measurement when the computer was idle and the hottest area around the keyboard measured a maximum of 33 degrees Celsius. And as for the fan noise, it stayed dead silent at 35 decibels. And the average internal core temperature was 38 degrees Celsius. Then I put 20% load on the computer. That's pretty much average users. Tasks like office productivity work, surfing web, streaming video, and the hottest air around the keyboard measured a maximum of 43 degrees Celsius. And as for the fan noise, it spun all the way up to a maximum of 38 decibels. So it's still quite quiet. And the average internal core temperature was 53 degrees Celsius. Then I put 100% load on the computer with the out performance mode on and the hottest air around the keyboard measured a maximum of 52 degrees Celsius. And as for the fan noise, it spun all the way up to a maximum of 50 decibels and the average internal core temperature was 77 degrees Celsius. I also measured the bottom back cover while I had 100% load and hottest air around the back cover measured a maximum of 45 degrees Celsius. So I definitely would not be putting this on your lap while you're running on a bit of load on this XPS 9530. Here's the results of the benchmarks performed on the XPS 9530. This one's configured with an i7 13700H processor with 16 gigs of RAM and 512 gig SSD with the Intel Arc A370M. Here's the result for Passmark, Citibench, PCMark, 3DMark, Crossmark, Crystal Disk Mark, Geekbench, Pugin Photoshop, Pugin Lightroom, Pugin Premiere Pro, Eugene Engine, and Spec View Pref. And some gaming benchmarks like Assassin's Creed Valhalla, Far Cry 6, Cyberpunk 2077, and F1 2022. One of the things I did encounter while testing out the Intel Arc version of the Dell XPS 9530 was sometimes I found some of the softwares would not load or would actually perform pretty poorly. Now this is probably teething issues of the Intel Arc drivers as it is relatively new. Now this is normal for any new graphics drivers coming to the market as this is pretty normal for software vendors to take a bit of time to actually catch up and support new graphics drivers. This is something that you may need to have a look at to see if your software has compatibility with the Intel Arc or else just stick to the NVIDIA version of the XPS 9530. Coming from 720p webcam from the XPS 9550. This is the video and the audio and the edits can hear and see what the quality of the webcam is like. Now I'm currently outside and I have quite a bit of wind and I have got the noise suppression on. And I'm actually going to turn it off so you can actually hear the difference between noise suppression and 
Reveal. Background noise, so this is now the settings without that noise suppression or noise reduction. So we'll see how that goes. Now, I like to actually put it back back on so you can hear now with the noise suppression back on. Now, I actually like to still see Dell as the upper a 1080p webcam or above for and this year in 2023 as we do do a lot more content creation and this is a business lab it'd definitely be nice to have a better webcam measuring the color gamma coverage of the full hd plus display which has a maximum brightness or luminance rating of 500 nits it resulted with 98.9 percent srgb coverage 72.7 percent adobe rgb coverage and 75 0.1% DCI-P3 coverage. Now with the chassis, it still is aluminium on the top and also on the bottom. And you got this nice brush aluminium along all the edges there, which is nice. Now it's a little flex. It doesn't really bend that much or twist that much. It is structurally really rigid. And also for the keyboard, it doesn't really flex that much. And you're not hearing it cracking. It's actually really, like I said, structurally very rigid which is fantastic now as for the hinge itself you're still looking with one finger very smooth all the way through and then it just opens that's a max that it opens It'd be nice if we can actually open a little bit more over years but it's still pretty much that's what you're looking at i'll say probably about 120 for this uh for the angle there and it doesn't really use the lid to lift it up so that's something for those who don't really like having the bottom end uses to lift up the laptop itself this does not do that just to let you know that there are four speakers in total in the xps 9530 there are two above which are the tweeters on either side of a laptop and there are two woofers on the bottom side of that when i tested out the maximum volume of the speakers it managed to measure a maximum of 90.3 decibels now this i would actually consider this loud speakers which is absolutely fantastic for a business laptop as when you're working outdoors or doing presentation or even doing a video conference this will help greatly now as for the sound quality of the speakers we got quite a bit of bass and it does try to cover a lot of the range as well so we do get that kind of oomphy punchy bass at the bottom and also it's quite balanced to the mids with lots of bass backing up that which is absolutely fantastic got great acoustics and also reverb these are good sounding speakers on a business lap so but there really isn't much change in the speakers compared to the previous year now over years of testing the xps 15 i always had a bit of concern about the massive thermal frosting that happens that actually causes a lot of performance drop from the xps 15 series but i did not actually see that that much concern in this XPS 9530, which is absolutely fantastic. Even though it says, I think is the same thermal solution. I think that's my user to do with Intel 13th gen, just has a little bit better power efficiency and thermals just to bring in the sound as I was not able to really have that sort of major concern with it. It did kept the base clock speed of the processor, even while we had the discrete graphics having a lot of load. So that was good to see that the thermals was a little bit probably why I say fixed up there, which was the big major concern about the XPS 15. Now, as for overall, we have still the same chassis and it still looks like a premium business laptop but the biggest major thing i like to see is actually the webcam if we can actually get a 1080p webcam or above as we're in 2023 we do a bit more content creation we do a lot of video conferencing these days it'd be nice to just have a high def webcam or even an option for a 1080p option for a webcam with fantastic here now as for the ports uh, it hasn't really changed still a nice amount of ports here oh i'd still like to see a, a usb a port just for a lot of old support for there and the actual chassis and design even though it is premium looks for it it's starting to get dated so i'm expect, I like to see what will happen with the next one here as they did do try something with the xps 13 so it'd be nice to see what they can do with the xps 15 if not even just try and put a new thermal solution you know, maybe bring the 17 and into here just get better performance but else it's nice to see that dell has actually presented the two different types of options and like i said it is something that i need to be 
you might need to be concerned about is the Intel Arc, is you just need to make sure your software is compatible with that. As I found, there has been some software compatibility issues with some of the softwares, as they would either have not load up or just performing pretty bad on the Intel Arc. It is new, so these are the teething issues, but at least Dell has actually given us the option for sticking with the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 40 series. So you can't go wrong with those, but you know, it's, if you try to save some bit of money, especially if you're buying a bit of fleet, then Intel Arc is a good, nice option there. So it's nice to see a third competitor to the graphics market. But overall, I hope you find this video informative and enjoyed it. If you did, it support my channel. Smash that like button for me. Share this video, it does help me out. And as always, imperfections in life makes it beautiful and interesting. And I'll see you next video.